Hey guys, so sorry if my camera's like tilted in a weird way. My tripod broke. It's great. Well, today we're gonna be showing you, uh, we're, who's weird? Anyway, today I'm gonna be showing you um, all of Cloud's school supplies. Nothing really to go into detail with that. So here we go. So to start off, I'm gonna start with the most big generic thing, her vest. This is Cloud's harness. Um, she has a harness instead of a vest. This is from a shop called Purple Poodles. I'm actually, this isn't gonna be her official school harness. I'm gonna be getting a different one. Uh, this isn't her official uh, setup, but this is the only one I have for now. So yeah, it's purple. It says service dog on each side. Um, this is kind of how it goes, like that on her. And then there's a pull strap right here that's attached. It's a paracord pull strap that my boyfriend made for me. Dark blue and black. And then the harness is like a purplish and um, black. So that's her harness. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is her collar. Um, her current collar that she's wearing, sometimes it changes, but right now she's wearing this collar. And this is a banded pines collar. This is her collar. It's just uh, pretty simple. It's really nice. Um, there's the banded pines, you can't really see it. And then she just simply has a tag with her name and my number on the back. So that's her collar. The next thing I'm gonna be showing you is her leash. Now her current school leash is this traffic leash. It's a leather traffic leash. And the reason I got a traffic leash instead of just a normal leash is because um, we're walking through the hallways. I'm just gonna hold the leash and then when uh, we get in class, I can easily just let it go and she could just lay down and it's not going to be all over the place. Uh, she's not gonna get all tangled in it when she's curled up or laying down. Um, and then simply when we go to leave class, I could just grab it and we can walk out. So um, also a friend of mine made a really good point to me that if you have a hands-free leash, because I don't feel like holding a big long leash, um, that if you have a hands-free that goes like over your shoulder, sometimes you can't decide whether or not you should put the hands-free on or the leash on or if you should put the book bag on first. So that can get a big mess or get all tangled. And my classrooms are really small, so I just decided to go with the simple like little handle leash. Um, it clips right here and it's, it's leather and it's just really nice. I got it off of Amazon for like 12 bucks, so it works pretty well. Next up, I have another leash, and this is a backup leash in case something happens to her main leash or I just decide to switch for some reason. Um, this is her main working leash that I use for like uh, the stores or like just anywhere in general that's not school because the only times I use the traffic leash is for at school. So this is just her basic working leash that she's always used. It's a hands-free. Um, it's really nice. I got it off Amazon as well for like 10 bucks. Uh, this part right here, this big part goes around my um, my shoulder and then this part right here clips to her. So that's it right there. And then if I'm not putting it on her, I just clip it back on this and it can just kind of sit on my shoulder or whatever I want to do with it. Um, it can also become a normal leash if I go ahead and just ask two sides right here. If I take this off, um, it could become even a longer leash. A normal one if you just want to hold it right here or it can become you take this and clip it onto here here's a handle and here's the leash so it works in both ways and then also it has a um, leash wrap sorry it has a leash wrap from patience and love it says partner in crime because I don't know I feel like if you get too many things that say service dog, you're kind of overdoing it. I do want to get the service dog um, lady strap, but for now I have that one because I thought it was really cute. Partner in crime, I don't know. So um, that's what she has for her second leash, her backup leash in case something happens to the other one. So it's always good to have that. Next up, we're going to talk about her training tool because she still is in training. Um, she isn't completely ready yet. She does heal on a flat collar for now, um, but she does need a little extra help. And what I do, what I use is an e-collar. And I know a lot of people have mixed emotions about this. It's really, it's a really well, great tool if it's used properly. So this is the e-collar that we use. Um, we use the mini educator. It's really nice. I haven't had it for very long, but I like it. So this is the collar that goes on cloud. 
and then this is the uh, remote. And this is a lanyard that I also got from Banded Pines. It's the same fabric as uh, her collar. So it's from the same companies and stuff. So I just went ahead and, and matched. Next up, we're gonna talk about accessories. Um, so I have two accessories. Um, basically things that I don't really need, but I like to have. So this is a uh, bandana that was made from Kenzie Arnold Designs. I will link everything down below. All the stuff that I show you, I'm gonna link all the shops, everything down below uh, in the description. So this is from Kenzie Arnold Designs and it's just a normal collar, or collar bandana that goes through the collar. And it's like this galaxy, um, stars. It says service dog on it and yeah. I also got this not only for school, but also if we were just running to the store real quick and I didn't want to put her whole harness on, her whole setup on, I could just put this on her and people still get the message across that she's a service dog, so. The next bandana that I got, this is the very specific main one for school. I got her a school bandana. Um, it is my school colors and it has the W for my school's name and then it has Red Riders, which is uh, our school's mascot. So everybody loves this at school, especially my principal. It's really cute. Um, I really like it. I really enjoy it. It just goes around her neck. It doesn't go on her collar. It's really nice. It's also made from Kenzie Arnold Design. Uh, I really do recommend her. She makes amazing bandanas and she's really, they're really customizable if you can tell. <laughs> Alright, next up we're going to talk about things that are important to Claude's needs and make sure that she's safe during school and etc. all of that. So the first thing that I'm going to explain is her treat pouch that I have. Um, this is just normal, pretty basic, it's just a pet safe treat pouch. Um, I just put treats inside of it, right there, and it can clip onto um, my pants. And it has other pockets as well, so this is two pockets. In the front it has a little bungee thing if I wanted to put like a pen on it or something. It has a carabiner on the side if I wanted to clip like a water bowl to it or something. It's really nice. And uh, I got this specifically not only just for school but just for tra training in general. So yeah. Um, next up I have a foldable water bowl. Um, this is very, very important. I take this every day. And um, to give her water because you need to make sure that your dogs are still uh, hydrated during school hours and etc. So this one's uh, Mr. Peanuts. I just got it off of Chewy.com. Uh, it's just a normal uh, little bowl. It just pops out like that and then you just fill it up with water and uh, I can just give it to her and then when she's done I can drain it out so there's still water in it. I can fold it up again and then there you go. And it even comes with a carabiner if you want to clip it onto like a bag or something like that. Um, it's really nice and very uh, travel very easy to travel with, I guess. The next thing that's uh, very important to her safety is boots. She has little booties. Um, these are from Roughwear. Uh, I got these specifically for mostly the winter or when it rains. Um, she doesn't really wear them in general to school. Um, she goes barefoot to school, but if there is a day where it's really snowy out and I know that they are salting the roads, uh, I will go ahead and put these on her so that her feet stay safe while walking into the school building or anything, etc. I also got these just for her being a service dog in general. If like if the pavement's really hot outside, she can wear these outside um, and just in general, but I, they're also for school. So there they are. They're rough wear, really nice. I really enjoy them and they come with a little bag. So you just put them in the bag and I could just take them with me. So there you go. The next thing I have is um, while you have a service dog, you want to make sure that they are groomed and clean um, because you don't want to be bringing a dirty dog to a school building. So in order to do that, um, I make sure that she isn't shedding. I always brush her with this Furminator um, to make sure that she's not going to get hair everywhere. I make sure that I get all of the loose hairs out of her fur. Um, obviously I'm not going to get all of them because she's a husky, but I get majority of them. That way her hair is not all over the place. So this is just a normal Furminator. The next thing I have to protect her paws as well is I do have paw balm for her that I do give her at least uh, every two weeks. Um, I put on her paw pads that will create a coat over her paw pads to kind of protect them a little bit more so they don't crack and etc. So this is from Barkley and Posh um, Dog Care and you just open it up and then there's the, there it is. So you just put that on their paw pads. 
Um, next up, uh, Cloud does get potty breaks at school. She gets a potty break every lunch, uh, every day. So I do pack poop bags to, if she, um, you know, pooped, I can pick them up. Um, so I do take poop bags with me. I used to have a poop bag holder, but it broke. <laughs> so I just carry around like a little roll of poop bags in my book bag and it's fine. Many people have been asking me what I have been doing to help with Cloud's anxiety because if you have been subscribed to my channel since the beginning, you all know that Cloud does have an anxiety in crowds and um, just people that she doesn't know, strangers, exactly. So I knew that school was going to be a big trigger for her. The things that I have been doing um, besides treats and like uh, association and all that kind of stuff. Um, I've also been giving her this, which is CBD oil. Um, this is by Canine Bliss, and I've been giving her a drop of this every morning, and it's been working pretty well. It's bacon flavored, so it's really nice. It's been helping with anxiety, and not only does it help with anxiety, it also helps with skincare, fur, um, joint problems. Cloud doesn't have any, but I'm saying, like, just in general, it helps with joints, um, and it does many other things, but majority I use it for anxiety, so. Last but not least, the biggest thing is my book bag. So this is my book bag. Um, it's not really SD related, but it is a big part of school and it does carry all of my service dog stuff pretty much besides my school stuff. That's my book bag. It's by Banded Pines. They actually just recently came out with book bags, so I decided that I was going to get one. And if you haven't noticed this pattern already, it's kind of, you know, the same as this lanyard and Cloud's collar. All three of them are the same pattern, so I I had to. I really like this pattern. It's really pretty in their, um, in their line. They have many other different patterns if you don't like this one specifically. But I do really recommend their shop. Um, they are really nice. Uh, I talk to the owner a lot. Uh, her name's Kim. If you've ever watched Kim and the Dogs Voodoo, that's who owns this shop. This bag's really nice. It's a really nice size. It's not too big, not too small. Um, it has a pocket right here. Um, a front pocket. This is where I usually put cloud stuff majority. Uh, it has a big pocket, obviously, all, all the way around. And then on the back, it has another little pocket right here. So it's really nice. It's got lots of room and that's pretty much it. All right, guys, so that's everything that I have for a service dog in school. Uh, I know it's not much, but really don't need that much, um, especially for my school. Maybe other service dog handlers need a little bit more, but my school is only four classes and lunch, so I don't really need exactly that much. Um, so yeah, that's everything. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I will see you in the next one. Later. <laughs>